reason. No, BBC Two. It's 20 past nine. So, Sedgefield Harriers Athletics Club have launched their own fundraising campaign to generate cash so that they can build their own athletics track. The club only, we say, in inverted commas, needs to raise half a million pounds to build the facility. They've already managed to raise £40,000 and they've recently heard that they've got planning permission to build the track, which is great news. Now, to tell us more about the whole thing and their efforts to raise that, uh, what is a substantial amount of money, it's got to be said, is Ian Parsons. He is chair of Sedgefield Harriers. Hi, Ian. Hello there. Good morning. Now then, um, Ian, um, tell me a little bit more about this. Uh, f- first of all, you're needing to build these new facilities. Whereabouts does the club train at the moment? The club uh, is based at Sedgefield Community College, um, and that's uh, um, where we train. Over the winter, we use the sports halls, and for juniors, we use the sports halls. But a lot of the time, the, um, uh, the junior runners uh, are out running on the, on the roads around Sedgefield, and... Um, We've got uh, around about 150, 200 juniors in the club and um, 100 seniors, and we desperately need somewhere to um, to train and uh, and to develop the the juniors. Are they of sufficient enthusiasm to deserve a professional track of their own? Then uh, the enthusiasm around the club is uh, <laughs> second to none. It's uh, unbelievable, and we have a, a fantastic team of people um, uh, driving the club forward. Uh, we, we, it's unbelievable to think that actually the club was only formed eight years ago today. All right. it's, our, it's our eighth birthday today. And um, in 2011, we were uh, UK Athletics uh, Club of the Year. Um, so within that eight years, we've already done that. And it would be fantastic to, um, uh, to get a track of our own uh, before our 10th anniversary in two years' time. That would be amazing, wasn't it? And uh, yeah. Obviously, you've got the planning permission, which must be great news to you because that's often a, a stumbling block for these kind of things. Uh, how are you planning to raise the money then? Well, first on the planning permission, uh, yeah, it's the end of a long road on that. It's taken us uh, um, three years to get that planning permission and it's been a, a real team effort. And uh, it was great that uh, we were able to bring Sedgefield Community College and uh, Durham County Council along with us to um, to get that planning permission. So now, now what that does uh, for us is um, it clears the way to simply raise uh, half a million pounds that we that we need. Um, we've all, with, with the forty thousand pounds and some other fundraising that's gone on, uh, we think we've got about thirty five point six meters of track at the moment, <laughs> and, we, and, we, and we need to um, get that driven around to a full four hundred meter circuit. So there's, there's all sorts of um, initiatives going on, and uh, there's a couple happening uh, today, as a matter of fact. Um, we've got a training session this morning for over 30 uh, juniors who are competing in the Junior Great North Run and all being sponsored for our Back the Track campaign. And then tonight we have a, uh, a charity fundraising ball uh, organised by uh, Helen Godfrey, one of our members, and... Um, you know, we're raising money from from that. So there's initiatives like that that are uh, already in hand to um, to get us towards our target. Well, that sounds amazing. Whereabouts is the new facility going to be situated? It's going to be at uh, Sedgefield uh, Community College. All right. Okay. Uh, now, you, as you say, you've raised uh, forty thousand so far. How did you get that far? What have you been doing to to raise that amount of money? Well, we're very grateful to. Um, uh, the developers of the, um, the Terrace Hill, the developers of the food store in Sedgefield, because um, it was a new... Uh, am I allowed to say the name of the uh, new food store? Oh, I've got uh, my ears closed. Go on. <laughs> it's Sainsbury's. Uh, it opened as well. It's not a secret, really, is it? Um, <laughs> yeah, when, when Sainsbury's opened um, uh, earlier in the year, uh, as a result of that process and, and the developers, um, they, they invested in the um, local community... Um, and we were lucky enough to uh, to be uh, granted some of that money, which got our fund started um, and got us that substantial sum. And then we've already been able to uh, to add to it. Well, that sounds absolutely amazing. Now, you are obviously are doing these fundraising events uh, today as well. So how do people get involved with that if they want to find out more information? Um, we've got uh, the best way to do it is to go to um, Sedgefield Harrier's website, um, and there's a there's a button on there for uh, track and and what's happening on the track, and that's uh, obviously www.sedgefieldharriers.co.uk. And we formed a group uh, called the Friends of Sedgefield Harriers, which will become a registered charity uh, with the, with the aim of um, raising the funds. And uh, uh, anybody around Sedgefield in the community um, 
that would like to get involved in the fundraising uh, would be great to have them on board as part of the Friends of Sedgefield Harriers. Um, but just contact us and uh, uh, we, we'll certainly put uh, people in the pitch how they can get involved. Uh, I'd just like to mention that we've already had the backing of um, some great athletes like uh, Chris Tomlinson and uh, Alison Kerbishley uh, from Teesside and uh, also Steve Cram and Daley Thompson who have lent, lent their support to uh, the track and sides field wow. and that's been fantastic yeah. well that is absolutely great I mean a lot of running going on we've got the middles for 7k tomorrow we've got the great north that's right, yeah. looming large yep. uh, that's you, right. are you uh, putting your, your, your young ones out to train in that as well as an opportunity well, we've got a lot of members doing the um, uh, the Tees Pride uh, race tomorrow and we have uh, a lot of members in the Great North Run, and as I say, we've got a lot of juniors, 30 odd juniors, in the uh, in the junior events next uh, next weekend as well. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Well, we, I tell you what, we wish you the best of luck with that. We look forward to the new stadium when it appears, uh, and the new track at least. Uh, and uh, we wish you best of luck with your fundraising efforts as well. Great to talk to you, Ian. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. Ian Parsons, there, chair of Sedgefield Harriers. As I say, those fundraising events. Head off to their website if you want more details on that. BBC TV. Breakfast with Ali Brownlee.